it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So um, I did a quick video lapse of how to put this together, but today I'm gonna show you exactly, step by step, what to do. So this little puffer vest is from Old Navy. It was $10, so I had to buy it. Um, it is uh, nylon on the outside, and I believe, let me see. Um, yeah, so the shell is 100% nylon and the inside is 100% polyester. So I bought this for my daughter and her friends who play tennis. Um, you know, they're, they're teeny tiny and they're so cute. And for $10, I thought it would be cute to have their names with the little um, heart tennis ball running through it. So I knew I wanted to put it on this little um, piece right here. I'm always looking, I mean, I do, use HTV on pretty much anything and everything but I also pick my battles like I don't want to in case I ruin the jacket I don't want it where um where it's actually messing up the the heat or the you know like the, the effectiveness of the jacket I don't want to burn anything there so I did pick this little area right here so it's like the top of the pocket you know, if it gets damaged, it gets damaged, no big deal. Um, I also picked Glitter HTV because I knew I can handle it really easily. I know that with Glitter HTV, I just need to heat it enough to get it to stick, and then it, it's it's good on there. So, um, and another thing, because I knew I didn't wanna put a ton of heat on this and actually burn through the nylon, um, that was partially why I chose the, the Glitter HTV because I felt like I could handle it. But also the tennis ball or the tennis heart, I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually two different colors. It's white and green because it's on a cream colored jacket. So um, I picked a design that I felt like I could easily pick up and move it. And I'll show you what I mean because I moved it all so that it's on one transfer sheet. So two colors on one transfer sheet so that I could heat it at one time. I wouldn't have to worry about it shrinking and then also causing any gaps and then overheating all of that stuff. So while I do use HTV on everything, I really do try to think it through. It's not just throw everything <laughs> at the wall and see what sticks, right? Um, I, I do try to um, make it as easy as possible for myself and, and try to reduce the errors. So, all right, let's get started. So I have a couple more jackets to do. Um, I will show you here. So this is, I know it's so hard with the lights and everything, but this is Olivia. And maybe if I put it on white, you could see it better. So yeah, so here's Olivia, <laughs> here's Emma, okay, and here are the hearts. So these are the um, tennis ball hearts, it's so cute. And then here's the outline, so, and I wanna show you, I, I hear so many complaints about Cricut products, and um, I don't know, I use all products. I use whatever's on sale, so <laughs> um, I don't have anything on my list that I don't wanna use. So this is Cricut HTV. And I love it because you basically, it feels like fruit roll up. And you can see I peeled it with my with my hands. I didn't use any tools. Um, so here's the outline of the heart. So I'm gonna do all four of them. And then I'm gonna weed out the middle parts because this is where the green comes in. So, oops, I pulled it too hard. Okay, so here we go. So you can see I was able to peel out those pieces pretty easily. And then what I'm gonna do is it's a perfect fit for the green. So I did this first one. I'm gonna show you, so I'm peeling off the middle piece of the green and I'm gonna lay it in. And this is what's nice about you know glitter HTV is it's thick enough that I can pick it up and move it. So you can see now this green and the white is on one transfer sheet. So I'm going to heat it up at one with one press. And so nothing's getting overheated. My jacket's not getting overheated. My HTV's not getting overheated. And even the thin parts of this green, look how easy it is to, you know, to handle, right? Um, so there's that one. And then if you don't get it in perfectly, just kind of move it with your tool. I mean, I just really love I really love glitter HTV. Um, okay, so, and then here's, an, here's another little piece. So 
I picked something that I felt like I could transfer easily. It's only three pieces that I'm moving. I could have moved the white to the green because the white is one piece, but the white has some really thin pieces. So I thought it was easier to move the, the green onto the white as opposed to the white onto the green. Um, but let's try it. So I'm going to just do it and see if it matters. Um, hold on, let me weed out the pieces we don't need first. See if that helps me. Okay, and then I'm going to see if this is a mistake. <laughs> but rather I experiment than you, right? That's why you guys watch. Um, so let's see if I can get this. It is really, it's, it feels so thin and delicate. I'm not loving it, but okay. So here's my white piece. Sorry, it went out of focus for a second. Okay, I'm just gonna put it down. So it worked. So that was fine. Either way, I still, whoa, it's super blurry right now. Will it focus? Okay, um, hopefully it will focus in time. I'm just gonna trim off the pieces and we're gonna iron our first one. So my um, mini, I love this mini. Um, I use it so much. It is almost always out on my desk and um, it helps do these little pieces right here. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm hoping that you can see it well. I'm trying to, okay. So let me cut this heart out. I'm gonna cut out both hearts. Now the other thing is, um, if you watch my little video lapse, um, you'll see that I did not do the hearts at the same time I did the name. And you can, I just felt like it was kind of long and because I'm using the mini, I could direct the heat in a certain area so I wasn't concerned about the whole thing getting too much heat. All right, so here are my two hearts. I'm gonna do one name right now. So let me get her jacket. Make sure I have the right size. Has it refocused? Gosh, it hasn't refocused. So here's my jacket. Now, this pocket is so um, narrow that I didn't have a, um, normally I use all the the heat press pads or whatever, and I didn't have one that fit. So I just took cardboard from something that I bought. I folded it and I'm gonna put it inside the pocket. So you can see I kind of just make do with what I have. Um, okay, so we have this. Now when you're layering, like if you did wanna do this all at one time, oh good, it finally refocused. Um, I'm gonna do the name first, cause like I said, on this one, I feel like you know using the mini that I can control my heat and so it's not gonna go everywhere. Um, but if you were to do it all at one time, what's important about HTV is that you wanna make sure all of your HTV pieces is touching directly onto the fabric. Because what happens is when you start putting things like this, you may have a part of your HTV that is sitting on top of the transfer sheet of another one, because these are three separate pieces, right? If you don't pay close attention, and I tell, I'm telling you this from experience, I've ironed my stuff onto some another um, carry, another transfer sheet many times, more times than I would like to admit to. So anyway. Just want to throw that out there. Okay, so I'm going to line my name up kind of in the middle, and you can see I'm not I'm not super precise here. That looks about right. They're wearing it, so it's like you'll never know, and it's a little pocket. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm not damaging anything else. So I am using my Teflon sheet here. I'm going to stick my hand underneath the cardboard, and I'm going to press just enough to get the heat going and so I can peel off my transfer sheet. I feel like the transfer sheet really holds back the heat and so I wanna just get enough so that, see, look how easily this peels off, right? That's enough. And then I'm gonna press it one more time once, once I pull off the, um, the transfer sheet from all of these. 
So um, here's my heart. I'm gonna put that heart on, and then where's my other heart? It was just here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. So I did the hearts two different ways. I transferred the white over to the green, and then one I did the green over to the white. They both look the same, so I can't even tell at this point which one is which, but um, mentally it felt easier to do the green to the white, but that's just me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna do one heart at a time. And as I'm doing the heart, the name is getting some heat right now because the name doesn't have the transfer sheet on anymore. So, all right, here we go. See, I love I love glitter HTV. All right, let's do this heart over here. Get this one, didn't get enough. I'm gonna try to peel it off. Okay, it looks like it's coming off. So it's completely on. I'm gonna hit it with some heat so that it's really, really good. But you can see nothing's coming up. I mean, I just, and this is nylon. I know I get a lot of questions about like, I know it says you shouldn't you shouldn't use heat on this, but um, I'm gonna flip it over, make sure that I get enough heat. Okay, um, we're just activating it. I mean, and also, you know, with jackets, you're not washing it so often, right? And they're only gonna wear it in the winter season. And if your kid is small enough, it's not gonna fit next year. So <laughs> it doesn't, you don't need to iron the heck out of it. But right now I'm feeling this and it feels really good except for this heart. I think this heart's not getting enough pressure. Ah, that was hot, okay. All right, one jacket down, all right. You can go now, um, but I'm gonna do one more jacket so that you can see me do it. And then if you have any questions or comments, please post it. Oh, this one's coming up a little bit. Hold on. Just a little bit right here. Okay, now it's down. All right. Um, post your comments and questions here. If you have a special request, please let me know. Post it here as well. And then you can always send me extra comments and details to Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. Um, and I'm gonna do Emma's jacket right now, okay? But hopefully this gives you more confidence to pretty much HTV anything. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. Let's put Emma's jacket up. Let's see, this is Emma's jacket right here. So this is her jacket, let me make sure the size. Yeah, it's medium, okay. So same thing on this side. We already have the name Emma ready to go. So I'm gonna put it here, kind of right in the middle. I'm gonna stick this in. And normally I would iron straight on without the Teflon sheet, but I don't want to ruin the rest of this jacket because it is, it is nylon, I'm a little bit worried about it, so I'm putting the Teflon sheet on just to make sure, and I'm not keeping this on for a very long time. I wanna just get enough heat on there so that it sticks onto the jacket, and then I'm gonna pull this off. Okay. And this one, the E for some reason popped up a little bit, so it's sort of on the edge. So I'm gonna make sure that when I go to iron this E that I pull up the fabric a little bit to make sure that this side gets enough heat right at the top, because I don't know if you can see that, okay? All right, so we're gonna keep that for a second. Let's get my two hearts. I'm going to try my white transfer again. So I'm gonna pull out the, oh, whoa. See, it's so thin, I pulled it almost all off. So actually on this one, okay, let's see if I can pull this off. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this completely off my transfer sheet and I'm gonna transfer the white again to my green. All right, 
And I mean, see, I don't think that we could really do this with any other kind of HTV. So see, like it's not even moving. It's so good. Okay, so put it down. That looks good. I'm gonna cut this heart out. Put that heart down and then we have one more. Let's get this one as well. All right, so I guess with my second one and this will be my third one where I'm transferring the white over, I'm I feel more comfortable now. There's a little piece that's not coming up, so I'm gonna get my little tool and just scrape it out. Okay. The other thing with iron-on that you wanna make sure is these little pieces that, I, that we're weeding out, just make sure they don't somehow get back on the transfer sheet because they will iron on, so. Oh, but the other thing that I get lots of questions on too is, I don't know if you can see it, but the transfer sheet has like a ton of glitter on it. Um, it's okay, it's not gonna transfer over, just, um, just the actual pieces will transfer over, so don't worry about that. You want to be careful when you're pulling this off though because it does stretch so you don't want to yank it and stretch it out um, and change the shape of your HTV so all right here we go all right so we got our two hearts down I'm gonna do one heart at a time let's stick this one over here let's get the transfer sheet down and that was enough for it to come off easily from here and stick on here but I know it needs more heat because I could see it sticking up a little bit all right so I'm gonna put that one down and put this one over that came off as well okay so on this one I do want to try to pull up the pocket a little bit on that E and I think I'm gonna do the E separately I'm gonna do the E right now with it like this and hold it down all right oh I'm scared okay okay that feels good all right so I'm gonna stick this back in and now I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat on the whole thing. And I'm pushing down a little bit, although I don't know if I need it. I feel like with this, it's on there pretty well. All right. It feels good. I just want to get this E one more time. And that was my fault. I, for some reason, when I measured this, I thought, I thought it, I thought it had more space than it really did. So that was definitely my fault. I would have made it smaller so it doesn't go to the edge because anything at the edges well, you know, you might rub your hand in and out, or if she's wearing a long sleeve, it might touch it, and so it's causing friction. So you definitely want to avoid that. I just mismeasured. Good thing it's only $10. <laughs> all right, so here's the jacket. It's all done. So I have Emma's, I have Riley's, I have Olivia's, and I have Charlotte's somewhere over here. I'm gonna add it because if she watches this video, she's gonna wanna see her name. And the other thing is, you know, it's there's only so much space. So, oh, and look, it's coming up a little bit there. I'm gonna need to add a little bit more heat right there. 
I did Charlotte. Otherwise, the name would be so teeny tiny. So you have to just, like I said, you have to pick your battles. Um, if they don't have a nickname, then maybe what you want to do is go with initials. So, I'm just gonna... and with HTV, you can always hit it with more heat later and it will work again. So you can see the little tip of that, um, of the bottom of the heart was coming up and now it's completely flushed. Easy peasy. All right. <laughs> I will see you next time. If you stayed to watch that second one, please let me know your comments and questions. And if you want to see anything else, all right. Bye.